40 years ago, Mike Miller and Bob Fanger believed they saw something that could be big, really big. They were right. Today, Firestone Financial Corp., the business opportunity they spotted back then, has grown into a thriving company. Firestone has succeeded beyond my wildest dreams, says Miller, now retired and enjoying life in the beautiful Berkshires in Massachusetts. Today, Firestone has close to $100 million in active loan receivables to 3,000 customers primarily in the coin-op, vending, and amusement, as well as the carnival industries. The company has always selected the industries and customers it serves with extreme care, because once it makes a commitment, it stays there for the long haul, through the inevitable ups and downs. Back in 1965, Mike Miller and his friend, Bob Fanger, lived in a simpler world. In this simpler world, Miller was a lawyer and Fanger was a food broker. They heard about Paul Firestone, a successful entrepreneur who had run a business loaning funds to equipment dealers at restaurants and beauty parlors. Firestone had recently died and his widow, unable to keep the business afloat, sold it to Lou Magerer and Bill Barkin. Barkin decided to sell his interest 30 days later. That's when Miller and Fanger stepped in. The day-to-day -day running of the business was entrusted to the company's first employee, Ed Yaffe, who had a background selling vending machines and had worked with Magerer in a prior venture. Shortly after Ed Yaffe joined Firestone, Sam Rosari was hired as the company's second employee to help continue developing the business. The core team of four, Miller, Fanger, Yaffe, and Rosari, set out to take Paul Firestone's concept to the next level. For about 20 years, Firestone was run by this team of four. We were probably the first who really devoted all our energy and expertise to financing the coin-op industry. We did not finance individual operators. We financed distributors who were selling to operators. We were dedicated to financing and serving this market. Ron Gold, Cleveland Coin CEO, had been a classmate of Fangers at Dartmouth College. And as he puts it modestly today, We rendered Firestone some minimal assistance. The relationship Firestone established with Gold was critical to gaining a foothold in the coin-op and amusement industry, which was revealing itself to be the place for Firestone to focus. Gold, in explaining why he has continued doing business with Firestone for about 25 years, says, They understand the business as well as the nature and dynamics of the manufacturer-distributor-operator network. There is a synergy there that is always at work. Many finance companies don't always understand how the industry works. Firestone does. Uh, due to this uh, understanding, they have been able to develop and maintain programs that are advantageous to all three tiers. Around the same time Firestone was nurturing its relationship with gold, Fanger, through a mutual friend, met Ruben Franco of Franco Distributing. Uh, I met Bob Fanger in Atlanta some 35 years ago. We had lunch together and really hit it off very well. And we are still very good friends. They have been and are now honest and always act with highest integrity. They take the position of how can we make a deal, not why we can't make a deal. I think that's what Bob had said to me back then when I met him in Atlanta. The question is always about how we can make this work, not why it won't work. This same philosophy holds true for David, Scott, Larry, and everyone at Firestone today. Uh, if Firestone won't do a deal, I know it's probably because it's not a good business deal for either them or for me. They have earned my trust where I know that's the case. If they don't want to do a deal, it shouldn't be done. Jerry Marcus, previous president of Atlas Distributing and another longtime customer, believes the service Firestone has provided him for close to 40 years is unique, and he is grateful for the way Firestone approaches its business. Ed Yaffe was my first contact with the company. Now it's David Cohn and Jim Hines. They're always pleasant and easy to work with, and they are tough, which is good. That Firestone good eye for spotting business opportunities has always been embodied in its employees. Marcus notes that Firestone is one of the only national companies that finances amusement and vending equipment. Banks have never done this on a national basis, neither Chase Manhattan nor Wells Fargo. Firestone can work from California to Maine and into Canada. 
We were sitting in an opportune place. We had a nucleus of distributors and many around the country wanted to sell paper to us. Once again demonstrating Firestone's knack for spotting opportunities and being prepared to capitalize on them. As the Firestone team persisted in building the business, its understanding and commitment to the industry continued to deepen. Miller recalls a tense period in the early 1980s which would test that commitment. The prime rate had exceeded 20% and threw the industry into a tailspin. Everyone was nervous about the future. Firestone stepped in with an emergency measure. The management team reduced our rates and lent at a very, very small margin. He looks back on that period with pride. It was a time when Firestone had a hand in keeping the industry together. We made a real mark in the industry. Currently, Cohen, Cooper, Larry Yaffe, Senior Vice President of Credit Operations, Celine Peralt, and Vice President of Sales, Jim Hines, comprise the majority of the company's principal owners. They, along with Chris Elkhill, Senior Vice President of Accounting and Collections, are the management team. For Firestone employees, says Hines, one of the proudest moments in Firestone history came when a customer wrote on an envelope sent with a payment, big enough to serve, small enough to care. That statement captured perfectly how Firestone strives to be viewed by all its customers. Helen Mooney, inside sales supervisor and on the Firestone team for about 20 years, believes one of Firestone's greatest competitive advantages is that we service and care. She's certain many customers would be surprised to learn that some departments have very few people in them. We're proud of our service, given the actual size of our company. Over the years, Sal Safala and Tony Costanza, core members of today's sales team, have come to believe that excellent service and strong relationships are the key reason that 70% of Firestone's customers are repeat customers. That translates into happy and loyal customers, Safala notes. Miller is quick to point out that one of the most important reasons he's confident about Firestone's future is David Cohen's leadership. David is a brilliant mind and he has the ability to work with people. You really need both. That's an unusual combination. Also important, he adds, is that Cohen and his team are good problem solvers, a skill Miller values highly. The company is always seeking to launch new programs to assist customers in quickly acquiring the equipment they need to run their businesses. Since the early 1990s, Firestone has run promotions with manufacturers through distributors. The promotions are designed to incentivize larger purchases of equipment, which could be quickly put in place to start generating incremental sales. Relationships and service are the key reasons for our success. We really are responsive to customers' needs. It's not just talk. One example he offers is seasonal payments. We structure payments to coincide with customers' cash flow. We're not rigid, demanding 12 equal payments. We've always been about making smart business decisions while building on the strong relationships with our customers. People do business with us because of who we are as well as what we do. The key to our future growth is to continue finding new ways to serve the industry and our customers. We are always looking for better ways to serve. In recent years, we have found we can offer the best opportunities when we collaborate with manufacturers, distributors, and operators. Forty years ago, our founders instilled in this company an instinct for identifying good business opportunities. We continue to hone that instinct. Our team believes we will be successful because we are always on the lookout for good business opportunities, just like our customers. We look forward to the next 40 years. It promises to continue being a profitable adventure for ourselves and our customers. We started from the smallest beginning, not knowing anything about the industry. We grew slowly, carefully, being smart and fair. We built a tremendous business and have become an important resource and an important arm of the industry. That tradition is being propelled to an even higher level by David and his team. They are doing a better job than I ever contemplated, and Firestone will continue to be a leader in this industry. Miller, Fanger, and Eddie Yaffe's successors are up to the task. Today, when Cohen, Cooper, Larry Yaffe, Peralt, Hines, Elk Hill, and the entire Firestone team look toward the next 40 years, they see something big, really big.